everyone welcome back to the channel this week's project was an interesting one to say the least I've been working on getting steam cash bundle as a docker running in my unraid server and trying to speed it up alleviate some network uh, bottlenecks or what I thought was potential bottlenecks and just overall trying to improve things steam cash bundle is a docker image that caches steam you play Riot Games, uh, Battle.net, and a few other of the game downloading systems onto a local drive to itself. So instead of always having to go out to the internet to download the game, uh, if you've recently downloaded it and say you had to rebuild your machine and you're trying to download, let's just say, a, a Steam game again, it'll come from your local network instead of having to go out to the internet and use your bandwidth. Now, for me, I mean, and this is mostly home usage here. It doesn't get as much as it potentially could, uh, but my oldest son is starting to get into games a little bit more, so it's probably going to be playing some of the same games. Uh, so it will help in that sense. But it also does, a nice little treat that it does, is it does Windows updates. I have several Windows machines in here, including uh, personal laptops, uh, desktops, the machines that my boys use my wife's laptop so the fact that it caches windows updates locally as well really handy now you can turn each of it off just leave it for windows updates if you want or just leave it for steam if you want configuration is pretty easy there's plenty of documentation on the net plenty of documentation on the uh, github itself for docker or for excuse me for a steam cache bundle i'm not going to go too far into that I'll go over a few of my settings, but I'm not going to get too deep into it because, like I said, there's plenty of documentation out there. Now, one of the things I kept running into was I noticed that when it was downloading to my machine locally, it was slow. It was only getting roughly 15 to 20 meg at the high end, maybe 24. So I was looking at the statistics for my Unraid server, and I saw that well the problem was my hard drive the hard drive it was connected to I had it on spinning rust so of course IO on a spinning rust is really slow and the way either steam submits stuff or the way steam cache bundle stores it it's in a lot of small files so I'm not sure where the I wouldn't say problem but which sides doing it if it's steam or if it's the Steve Cash bundle, the way it's storing it. Uh, it's just in all these little small files and on a hard drive, random IO or random input output access on old hard or not should say old hard drives, but your standard spinning hard drives is slow. So one of the things I did uh, is take the share that's created by default when you create Docker, uh, create the Docker for when you download the Docker for Steam Cache Bundle and do its settings and apply it, it creates a, a local share for you in Unraid called Steam Cache. I set that share to using the cache drive only on my server. Now, I only have a 128 gig SSD for caching, so I had to limit how much it was using in terms of storage. I had to set mine to 50 gig and as you may know, there's quite a few games out there. Grand GTA 5, Doom, just to name a couple, that are around 80 gigs. So unfortunately, I won't be able to store games like that in the cache. Or if it do, I do, it's only going to be partial. So while not a permanent solution, it works for now, especially for the Windows updates part, like I said. So, as I was saying... 20 megs what I thought was slow I was just barely more than what I was getting going to the internet because I, I get roughly around 12 to 13 megabytes uh, per second through the internet roughly so at 20 it's not all that much faster it works just not as fast as I was hoping it would considering my entire house is run with gigabit networking after I moved it to the cache the local cache drive on Unraid, it's, my speeds went up considerably. Now I'm looking at around anywhere between 40 to 50 and around 
uh, somewhere sometimes in the upper range or lower ranges of 60 megabytes per second so not quite it's, it's roughly 60 percent of a gigabit connection and to multiple clients because I did try it on my laptop here as well as doing it to the desktop at the same time and both of them were able to get to around 30 sometimes 40 40 on the spike around 30 sustained on average to both uh, my desktop was definitely taking over most of the bandwidth for that but once that was done all the bandwidth shifted to the laptop and that took care of it now some of the things I was doing to try to eliminate the network bottleneck was I tried adding in multiple NICs so I added in two extra Intel gigabit NICs on uh, PCI buses, old PCI buses and I tried several configurations with those extra NICs one of the configurations you can do with Unrate is when you set it up into bridge mode in the NIC, you can add multiple members to just the bridge. So if you're, you have your Dockers and your VMs using the bridge, they'll utilize the extra, NIC, the extra NICs, but you don't have to worry about any bonding. That's the other option is setting up network bonding, which is essentially adding multiple NICs to act as one NIC. The problem I was running into is it didn't really seem to balance out well. Um, my file transfers to and from the server were slower than a single NIC. I was getting around 70 megs from the server and around 90 megs to the server. When typically I can transfer at full line speed at around 125, 120 megabytes per second, server to desktop and desktop to server. So that was a problem there. And that was with it bonded in uh, mode 6, which is, since I don't have a smart switch, uh, this is the mode I had to go with. Uh, with a smart switch, I probably could have used uh, mode 4, which is uh, 802.3, 802.11, uh, excuse me, 802.11 AD, which is supposed to be an active load balancing. Uh, which probably would have done the trick. Uh, I just don't have a smart switch. That is something on my list of things to upgrade to to see if it would help. The other thing I'm looking to do first is add a dedicated drive to the Unraid server. Uh, probably like a 500 gig, 480 to 512 gig SSD and make it so that Steam Cache is the only thing that can access that particular SSD. Now I put it in cache mode, uh, set it as part of the array, and set it so that only Steam Cache accesses that. And I think that would help eliminate a lot of the problems I was having. And it would definitely give me a lot more space for storage of cache drives, games. I mean, 500 gig, while not a lot in terms of a lot of people's Steam libraries, it could certainly help, especially if I download a game and I decide that my oldest son's allowed to play it and he can download it. It would be a lot faster that way. So that's something I'm looking to try doing next time, uh, just down the road. Thankfully, uh, prices have come down quite a bit on 500 gig SSDs. Really cheap now. You can get one for a hun under $100. Uh, I'll have links in the description below for them. Uh, that I find really nice. Uh, it used to be that you couldn't even get a 256 gig for under 100 bucks, and now you can get them for around 50 to 40, somewhere in that range. After all that NIC troubleshooting and various network uh, changes and tweaks, I tried, and I tried everything. And I would change one thing at a time, which is a key thing. You don't want to change five different things, and all of a sudden it's working, and you have no idea which one fixed the problem. So I would make a change, restart uh, the VMs and the Dockers, try everything, back in, test speeds, see if they were improved or not. After everything, all after testing NIC bonding, after testing uh, bridge, I guess you would call it bridge bonding, just by having multiple NICs in a bridge, I went back to a single NIC, and that seems to be working fine. Now, end goal is going to end up being very similar to what Linus Tech, Tip, Tech Tips has already done and have a dedicated machine for it. Now I don't have Linus Tech Tip money but what I would like to end up doing is getting you know a couple 500 gig 
SSDs, putting them in RAID 0, having uh, an Ubuntu desktop set up, use that, have that used for multiple things, uh, maybe have that as my local backup to a USB drive, as well as acting as a Steam cache server, going to the uh, RAID 0 array for the SSDs. In order to do that, I'm going to end up having to upgrade either uh, the Ubuntu, the Ubuntu, Unraid server or one of my other devices in here so I can use uh, either the old Unraid server at that point or one of the old hard drive uh, computers here as a dedicated Steam cache server. Now, yeah, for most homes it's overkill. This is project fun for me and it really does help alleviate a lot of bandwidth problems and if you're in an area that has uh, cap bandwidth problems uh, like out in the boonies having a steam cache server can really help out a lot because like I said it does steam it does windows updates origin riot for league of legends uh, battle.net so you can save a lot on your bandwidth if you're in one of the areas that has a bandwidth cap and you can change how much storage space it uses. Make sure it has a decent amount of RAM. That is definitely a thing because RAM access is a lot faster than hard drive access or even SSD access. It can help prevent you hitting your bandwidth cap because you can also set uh, how long to keep data in the cache. Uh, I have mine currently set up at 180 days, so roughly six months. If I thought I had the storage, I could probably push it out to a year. I don't really think I have the storage for it right now. After creating a dedicated one, yeah, I probably would set it up to a year worth. And the, the reason I would do that is there are some times where I'll play a game and just to save space on my desktop, I'll uninstall a game and then after a while realize I want to play that game again and re-download it. Well, if I've got to sit there and re-download an 80 gig game from the internet, that's going to take some time, especially on my internet connection. But if it's still local here on my Unraid server, thanks to Steam Cache, that's going to save me a lot of time. It's going to keep me from using the bandwidth I have. Now, I don't have any bandwidth caps yet, but with the way things are going, who knows? With the net neutrality, stuff ended. Uh, another topic for another time. And there's already plenty of videos on that from other tech guys. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, Bitwit. Uh, Paul's Hardware, they've all covered net neutrality pretty thoroughly. Uh, Gamers Nexus, really good guys there. So, I, in conclusion, this has been a lot of fun. I would still recommend doing it if anyone is even a little tech savvy on it. It's a lot of fun and it can save you some bandwidth, uh, especially if you have uh, cap limitations where you are. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, like, dislike. Leave a comment down below. Check out our links in the description. It really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.